To find the oxidation numbers for each element here in Cr2S2, this is chromium 2 sulfide, we'll use these rules here. The first thing to note is there's no negative or positive charge written after Cr2S2, so it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers will add up to zero. We won't find the chromium or the sulfur in our rules here, so we need to think about which element is more electronegative. This rule here kind of helps us to do that. It says the more electronegative element in this binary compound, it will have an oxidation number that's equal to the charge if it were an ion. So we want to know if sulfur is an ion, the sulfide ion, what charge would it have? So if we look on the periodic table here, we can see that sulfur right here, same group as oxygen, that has a two minus ionic charge. Because of that, the oxidation number on each sulfur, that's going to be minus two. So for all of this to add up to zero, two times minus two, that's minus four. So two times a positive two, that would be positive four. Positive four, minus four, cancel out, they give us zero. So the oxidation number on chromium here is plus two. Each chromium atom has an oxidation number of plus two in Cr2S2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.